In this video, we're going to take you through a series of exercises to help you build maximum mass for each of the major body parts. These are the big compound exercises, and they cover all the major muscle groups. But an aesthetic physique isn't just about mass. You also want to get all the details balanced and in proportion. So, we'll also show you how to sculpt your muscles by using isolation exercises to bring out key body parts. First, a great compound exercise for building muscle. Dumbbell Flat Bench Press The main muscle you're working here is your chest, but you're also using your triceps and shoulders. Compound exercises work at least one main muscle, but also use other muscles around them. Working a number of muscles in one exercise is a fast way to build mass. Now let's take a look at the body weight pull-up. Your back is made up of many different muscles. Here you're working pretty much all of them. But the biggest effort is from your lat muscles, the ones that give you a big, wide back. On the pull-up, you're also working biceps and triceps. When it comes to leg day, compound exercises are definitely the best way to add thickness and size to your legs. There are many to choose from, but one of the best is squats. The main muscle here is the quads, but you're bending at two joints, the hips and the knees. So you're hitting muscles in the front and back of your legs to perform the movement. And as you can see, you're also engaging your entire core and abs, which is why squats are considered one of the best compound exercises in the gym. Once you've mastered the key compound exercises for all the big muscle groups, you're all set to add size where it matters. But aesthetics is also about balance, proportion, and detail. So next, we'll show you some great exercises to help you sculpt those key body parts. For a big set of muscles like back, add exercises to work the muscles in different ways. Like these seated cable rows. While pull-ups work on the width of your back, this sculpting exercise will really target that middle back to add size and thickness. For a body part like chest, do at least two compound movements. These would be your pressing exercises from different angles. Then move on to an isolation exercise like cable flies. Isolation exercises really focus on one particular function. In this case, the arms are locked, so you're bending only at the shoulder, and you're working to achieve maximum stretch on the muscle. So this is doing the very particular job of adding width across the chest. Isolation exercises can also target lesser muscles like these lying leg curls. While squats work your whole leg, this exercise goes right in on one individual muscle, the hamstrings. Many isolation exercises work smaller muscles, so you won't usually go heavy on these. Better to exhaust the muscle by increasing the reps, not the weight. One body part where isolation is key is arms. For triceps, a cable pushdown is a great example of an isolation exercise. Bending only at the elbow, you're working just one muscle, the tricep. 
and for biceps, again, cable curls is a great isolation exercise, really focusing maximum effort on a single muscle. Most compound exercises help build strength in your core, but to focus right in on your abs, you need isolation. Hanging leg raises will really help you develop your six-pack. The movement is only at the hip, and the major work is being done by the lower abdominals. So that's how to start building a fully aesthetic physique. Use a mix of compound exercises for mass, but also include isolation for the detail. Try this technique for different body parts. To guide you, here's a great chest workout, which starts with big compound moves, then goes on to isolation. And for back, check out this workout. Again, big compounds followed by isolation. Whatever your level, there's plenty more here on Fit Media Channel. So check out our playlists. Let us know in the comments how you get on, and make sure you're subscribed for new videos every week. Fit Media Channel, empowering your workouts.